Hey guys, what's up? Several here, and in this video, I have a tutorial on how to 2D motion track in Sony Vegas. Uh, the version I'm using right now is Sony Vegas 11. Um, I'm pretty sure this works in older and newer versions, so let's get right into this. So, the first thing you're gonna need is a cinematic, like so. Um, the cinematic has to be like going one way. See how this one only goes to the right? It doesn't go forward or anything. So basically what we're going to do is make um, text uh, motion tracked on this little wall right here. So when the cinematic moves along, the text stays on this wall. So it's a pretty cool effect. Like say um, you're making an edit and um, you need a little bit of cinematics in the beginning. Uh, you can just put your name right here or something and it just adds a cool effect. So, the music is optional, um, so let's get right into this. So, you're going to go to Media Generators after you have your cinematic imported titles and text. Um, I usually just get the sample text and you can change colors and fonts later. Actually, I would change it right now, so um, I'm just going to put several, because I'm several. And you can change the font, so I'll just pick a random font. Um, this one's fine, I think. So you're going to make it the same length as your cinematic, so they're matching. And as you can see right here, um, it's just on top of the screen. Now, here is the part where we motion track it. You can change the colors and everything now. Make sure you do um, font, color, everything now, so it's easier after. So on the left of your track, here let me move this over, um, you're going to see this, it says track motion, click this, um, and basically you get this, um, this is the motion tracking, um, I don't know what it's called, the template or something, but this is actually what lets you motion track your text. So we go back into it right here and we have to put it on the wall first so um, in the corner there are going to be these uh, little circles click them and you can drag your text smaller and bigger so fit it to whatever um, whatever wall you're trying to put it on you can also turn it like that whatever you need to do so once it's fit on the wall like so uh, maybe a little bit higher right there once it's there, make sure it's perfect. You have to take your time on this or it will turn out really bad. So, um, keyframe down here. Go over. And I am bad at keyframing. Go over to the very end of your clip. And see, it'll stay here unless you keyframe it again. So, um, let me get this. So, now you put another keyframe so at this keyframe is where the cinematic starts but it doesn't stay on the wall so you have to go to the very end of your clip and then move it back onto the wall where it was and remember just take your time on this this doesn't work for every cinematic some cinematics look better for this and some don't and it took it takes a while to get used to doing this um you know just take your time and it should look fine if you take your time and do everything right so as you guys can see there it's, it's synced to the wall not synced well it's motion track to the wall and see it just stays on the wall I think that's a pretty cool effect and if it does um, not stay by the wall or whatever you're motion tracking it to you can go in the middle of the two keyframes and then um, put it back so Put it on the wall here, put it on the wall here, and if it doesn't stay, go in the middle and uh, retrack it to the wall, and that makes it a little bit better. But other than that, it should be fine. So, yeah. I will put a um, preview of this at the end of the video. So, yep. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more editing tutorials. And uh, if you want, you can leave a comment saying what you want me to do a tutorial on. And that's really all I have to say, so um, yeah, several is out.
Since I came.